I'm Kim, I'm the designer at West Indies Wear. I started West Indies Wear about 12 years ago when we were on our sailboat in the Caribbean. I had had a baby and I didn't want to put my baby in childcare, so I needed to create a job for myself at home on the boat. So I started making jewellery. I had beads and all sorts of um, different things that I wound together and beaded to make necklaces and belts all made out of these turquoise coloured beads and I was doing that and then I started bringing in some baskets from Africa Madagascar and selling that and then this girlfriend of mine who was the production manager at Billabong South Africa when I was head designer there we're still very good friends and she sent said to me when are you gonna stop fiddling around with all these little things and do do your own line and I was like wow never thought of that and that seems pretty obvious now after you know i graduated from fashion school at 21 worked in the fashion industry all over the world and the thought never occurred to me to start my own line and while we were sailing around the islands i noticed that a lot of the clothing that was in the markets was made of polyester um, and rayon fabrics that were so hot in that tropical heat that that was the last thing that i wanted to wear so I booked myself, and we were pretty poor, I booked myself a ticket, a flight to India. And off I went to India to look around for fabrics. And the first fabric I found is this beautiful soft cotton voil. And 12 years later, this is still the staple of what I use in, in the clothing. I also do sarongs. Now, do you know what a sarong is? It's basically just a piece of fabric. Um, I'll get one down. It's a nice, long, generous, um, my sarongs are nice, long and generous pieces of fabric. It's quite sheer and soft, but it's pure cotton. So it's nice and breathable. Now our sarongs come packaged like this. And there's a little beaded bracelet or anklet, whatever you want to call it, that you can use. I actually have one hung from the um, my rear vision mirror in my car. So this one's got a little sea glass bead and then a little palm tree charm. But there's all different charms. There's a mermaid and there's a turtle. And then the band on this sarong just tells you what it is and what size it is. And on the back of this band is three different ways to wear it. So just some suggestions to help you with what you can do with it. So, this sarong, what do you do with it? The mind boggles. It's a nice long piece. You can wear it over your swimsuit as a skirt. Now, a Hawaiian lady told me you grab it a little bit before the end and tie from there so that you don't have it so big and chunky. So you can wear it like that as a long skirt. And actually, if you're traveling in a country where you might visit temples, um, you can actually put that skirt on over your clothes when you visit a temple because often they have like a morality thing. They want your legs covered. Um, what else have I done with it? We tie it as a dress. So in that instance, you take the very ends, you center it behind your back, tie it in a knot in front, and then go up around the neck to create a little halter dress. So it's very simple to tie. You put that on over your swimmers if you're on the beach. Doesn't look so good over my starfish tunic, but you get the idea. Mm -hmm.